All right guys, check it out. This is the Chevrolet Silverado Jackal. In this video, I'm gonna tell you all the cool gadgets and gizmos and show you around this badass off-road truck. From the factory, Chevrolet does not make a direct competitor to the Ford F-150 Raptor or the brand new Ram 1500 TRX. Chevrolet builds the Silverado Trail Boss, but that competes more with vehicles like the Ram Rebel and the upcoming Ford F-150 Tremor. There's no top dog halo off-road truck. A company called Pax Power decided to take the matter into their own hands. Pax Power does some really cool custom trucks. They will build you, for example, a Ford F-150 Raptor with a V8 in the current generation body style. They'll even build you a diesel Raptor. And they decided, let's see what we can do with the Silverado. And they built the Jackal. So how does the Jackal work? Well, you start with a Chevrolet 1500. It's gotta be four wheel drive. It's gotta be a crew cab and a short bed. But apart from that, it can be pretty much any trim. You can do this treatment to a work truck or a high country. This one is an LTZ, but the trim really doesn't matter as long as it meets those three criteria. So now that you found a truck, you gotta choose which stage of modification you wanna put your truck through. This one is a stage three. It's a top dog. Let me show you what that gives you. The stage three sits wider than a standard Silverado. It actually sits three inches wider. It's got a factory wide body kit. You can see that here in the rear fender, but it's most dramatic here on the front fender. In fact, the whole truck sits about six inches wider overall than your standard Silverado. The purpose of that wide body kit is to accommodate the aftermarket suspension and take a look at this setup. First of all, we have a Baja kits, lower and upper control arms, but the King shocks are the real deal here. Check out the remote reservoirs here in the front, adjustable remote reservoirs, I might add, and in the rear. We also have remote reservoirs, some of the biggest I've seen on any truck ever. It also looks like they're finned for a little bit of extra cooling. They also have the adjustable damping, and then of course, Deaver leaf springs down there. Bolted to that long arm suspension are the wheels. These are by Innovate Racing. I love the finish, by the way. This whole kind of bronze on black look is really cool. Obviously beadlock capable, and the tires are <laughs> much larger than stock. These are 37 by 12 and a half R17s. The stage three kit also includes these ADD bumpers. These are called the Stealth Fighter bumpers. They look really cool and I love how in the front here, you haven't actually had to cut into the fender. You still have that iconic Chevrolet vent that funnels air around the wheels. Now this is a pretty beefy setup. We also have recovery points in the front here for uh, D-rings in case you get really stuck. And then of course your full LED light bar uh, that really lights up the trail at night. And then we come to the hood, which is custom. Got this big power bulge here and this huge intake. Now, all of these parts I've listed and probably a bunch I forgot come to about $35,000 to really transform your Silverado. But the Jackal has something special under the hood. You see, if you wanna spend about $15,000 more, you can upgrade the engine to something truly unusual. This is a 6.2 liter V8, but it has a Whipple supercharger on it. Now this is about, like I said, $15,000 worth of supercharger, but it does bring the power output to about 650, which is a lot more than the current generation Raptor, which sits at about 450 horsepower. It's less than the TRX at 702, but 650 is still a pretty serious number. And when you couple that with the aftermarket exhaust, it's got a cool sound. Now the interior of the Jackal is gonna depend a lot on which truck you start out with. So like I mentioned, this one is an LTZ equipped vehicle. And what that means is it's pretty luxurious in here. So of course we've got full leather seats. We've got the full leather armrest. Here in the middle, we've got a place to wirely charge your phone. Apart from that, of course, we've got the full line of switches, including hill descent control, the power outlet, the automatic tailgate, above that dual zone automatic climate control with heated seats and ventilated seats. And then of course at the very top here, we've got the full eight inch display coming to the steering wheel, heated steering wheel. You do have a column shift, so unlike the TRX and Raptor, which are uh, console, this one is still a column, of course. Uh, it feels like a normal Silverado in here. They haven't done too much on the interior. And of course, that interior is gonna change a lot. If you get a work truck, it's gonna be much more basic. If you get a high country, obviously, you're gonna have a ton of options. Um, this is kind of a cool thing, though, because in theory, you could get a work truck, save some money, 
that you could then spend on stuff like the supercharger and the stage three kit, or you could get an LTZ if you're willing to spend a little bit more and have all the comforts of like a Raptor or TRX. So over here is how they've incorporated the aftermarket LED light bars. So this one on the left, that's gonna be your front light bar. And then of course we've got the little backup lights which are incorporated in the rear bumper, a nice feature that really lights up what's behind the truck if you're trying to back up on a narrow trail. Ooh, it's got a nice deep rumble. It sounds very different uh, than the TRX. The TRX, funny enough, also is a 6.2 liter supercharged V8. Uh, that's got kind of more of a roar. This one's more of like a subdued rumble, but it's kind of the perfect sound in my opinion. Now, uh, the steering wheel is nice. It's not quite as nice as like the TRX of the Raptor. It doesn't have uh, kind of the thickness. It doesn't have that little race line like the Raptor does. Also, no paddle shifters, um, because once again, this truck was built as just a standard truck and then the PAX Power guys really dove into it. So you can't really integrate paddle shift as well into the steering wheel because it's got buttons in the rear of course as well, but hey, it works uh, to get you down the road. Now the first impressions when you jump behind the wheel, the hood is really tall, much taller than the stock Silverado. So you are gonna have to probably lift your seat up a little bit to look over the hood, but wow, what a commanding driving position. You just feel so in charge of the road in this thing. Between the height and the width, I mean, you feel so safe and secure. You also feel like you could take on Baja at 100 miles an hour. Let's bring her on out to the main road here and roll into it a little bit. Wowzer. Yeah, that is a lot of torque. So much torque that you almost overwhelm the uh, all-terrain tires on it. And you get some hop and some spin out of the rear end, but once you're up to speed, it does move down the road with a lot of confidence. It doesn't quite throw you back as hard as a TRX, but the sound and that supercharger whine is incredible, so much better than the F-150 Raptor with the stock V6. I mean, it, it's just got its really special personality. The ride on this truck is good. It's, it's very controlled. It's not quite as soft as like a first generation Raptor or TRX, but you feel in control and it's a good cruiser. And then of course, you have effortless power if you just want a little bit of squirt down the road. I mean, it's such a satisfying thing to drive and people look at you, they really look at you when you go down the road in this truck because it's so menacing and it's got such a cool stance. So what about off-road capability? Well, we're gonna get this truck out on the trail with the TRX and the Raptor. In terms of locking differentials, it depends on how you spec the original truck. So if you start with like a Trail Boss, for example, or a Z71, you're gonna get a G80 in the back. If you don't, you're probably just gonna be relying on traction control and these massive tires to get you where you need to go. So there's no button, at least on this one, to lock up the rear end. Now pricing, like I said, 35 grand for the Stage 3 kit, another 15 grand for the Supercharger. That's $50,000 plus the cost of the truck. So if you spend $45,000 on a truck, you're gonna be looking right around 95K. This one, as you see at the LTZ, comes in at about $100,000 when it's all set and done. That is more than a Raptor, it's potentially more than a TRX, but man, it looks cool. It's just got such an interesting and unique stance, and you certainly won't see yourself coming down the road in the other direction. Well, as always, this is Tommy with thefastlanetruck.com. Check out tvltruck.com for the latest and greatest in Jackal off-road reviews.